things first, we're going to address the elephant in the room. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you for the elephant sound effect. My hair is about 10 shades lighter than what it was supposed to be. I went to the hairdressers and well, she didn't listen to me and now my hair no longer matches my eyebrows. <laughs> in order to maybe distract you guys from this current situation, don't worry, I'm gonna go get it fixed because this ain't cute. I have a little distraction that will hopefully make this video 10 times better. <laughs> it really doesn't. I You're breaking. Going on. Wait, turn on the underwear. Hi. I can't feel <laughs> free. But you don't raise your legs. You're not wearing pants. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Based off of the title of this video, you already know it's a haul. Trina! Yay! I know you guys love her. You love her more than me. The last time I did a Trina haul video with the actual Trina, it got so many views and comments, so you're never not gonna be part of the oh, video no. now. I'm doing it for the views. Trina just got back from the States. You went to Houston, <laughs> Vegas, and LA. Three amazing places with lots of good food. Check out her Instagram, by the way, if you don't follow her. In true Trina fashion, she brought back a bunch of goodies for kebab, myself, and for mom. Louder, not deeper. <laughs> Mom is also in the room. Yay! There's a lot of stuff in front of Trina and I, and I'm super, super excited. So, if you want to see all of the goodies that Trina brought back, stay tuned. Please keep watching. <laughs> keep watching, please. <laughs> okay, let's get started. What are we gonna start with? Coffee first. Oh my gosh. Ladies and gents, we've got more Nespresso pods. <laughs> There's holiday saying, and some limited edition there. Who says too much caffeine is bad for you? These are the holiday ones. <gasps> oh, they're Nordic Christmas. These are so aesthetic. I mean, look at that. Doesn't you just want to display that Nordic black, cloudberry, and almond cake? These sound so good. Guillermo, we've got some new pots for you. Okay, what's next? What's next? This one is the limited edition, and you can only buy two per person. This is the limited edition cafecito de Puerto Rico. My personal favorite is the cafecito de Cuba. Yes, that's like my ultimate favorite. So Trina got us this one. What? This is so cool! An Italian coffee journey. Tell us about this one, Trin. It's all Italian coffee. <laughs> <laughs> No. We have limited Darlog. edition. These are the limited edition ones. See? Tribute to Milano. And this one is tribute to Trieste. 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 Dora. I watched Dora <laughs> on the plane. How it was, was really it? Nice. The live action? Yeah. Espresso Roma. Italian coffee is really nice and strong. It's very robust. Yeah. And look at the design of the capsules. Oh, wow. These are amazing. Is this giving us some inspiration for our trip? It's Italy. in 2020. Should we add Italy to the list? I love these. These always come free, right? Except that they're not for our machine. Oh man. <laughs> Look at it. These ones are saucers, so they're totally not gonna fit they ours. Say that, that, that machine can produce a cup of coffee, a full cup. So maybe we should get the machine next. Should we buy that machine too? I've never seen espresso pods like these. They look like boobs. Oh my god. Mother! Trina got us another welcome kit! I am obsessed with the saucers that we have downstairs. I even displayed them beside Guillermo because I think that it's just so classy, you know? But this is what now. This is what the welcome box of Nespresso looks like. Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe, which you also bought for yeah. us. But these welcome kits are so cute, guys, because <laughs> they come with these super classy, like Nespresso glasses and these metal platitos. So I mean, how adorable is it? We also have a couple of bags inside the box. Box. These are the Nespresso Pods return bags. So you just put all of your used pods in them and then you can bring them back. Cereal! Why do you get me cereal? Because you eat it for dinner. I eat cereal all day, every day, ladies and germs. And this one is Trader Joe's Hot Cocoa O's. You got me the strawberry yogurt ones and I finished them like in a week. They're crispy oat corn and cocoa hoops cereal with freeze-dried marshmallows. 
This next one is really funny. This is actually from 30. Hey 30, if you're watching. I have never ever <laughs> seen any of the movies ever. So when people make references or they talk about a certain scene, I never understand what they're talking about. 30 got me a Magic Mike Las Vegas t-shirt. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Mom has freaking yeah. seen it and I and I haven't even seen it. You watched? No. How'd you get the t-shirt? No, there's a store. Here is one of maybe 30 bags. Cracker Jack. When I was a kid, I used to eat Cracker Jacks. She, and they used to she come. Used to, and she doesn't know what it is. I know, I was a kid. And they used to come in boxes. And they're caramel coated popcorn with peanuts. And there's a toy inside. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Is that the toy? It used to be actual toys before. It's a dog sticker. <laughs> oh. You still want it? These are so good. My all-time favorite M&Ms, if you guys have been watching my haul videos before, then you'll know hazelnut filled M&Ms. The M&Ms have like Santa hats on them and Christmas lights. Tis the season to be chubby. You were so cute when you spoke to mom and I, when you brought these to us, what did you say? I don't know if you like mint or peppermint. So I don't know if you guys like mint or peppermint, so mint and peppermint. <laughs> White chocolate peppermint M&Ms, holiday mint M&Ms, gluten-free sriracha horseradish. 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 Horse so why did you get this for us, Jen? Because mom loves horseradish. Trader Joe's organic yellow mustard. I like this. I like being handed stuff. Another Christmassy item. Christmas Oreos! It tastes so different. The cookie, the cream, the amount of cream yeah. inside the Oreo. It's so different when it comes from the States. Christmas themed Oreos. So the cream is red but with the same delicious flavor. And it's got five cool winter designs. I love me some hot sauce. A sriracha hot sauce and condiment. But from, it's got a wrestler. <laughs> from the Sauce Brothers. They started in 1989. They're older than me! But younger than you! Some people keep asking, how much older are you for me? Two years. I'm 23, she's 25. <laughs> so this is the Parmesan and Romano cheese because they love pasta and they say that they use actual cheese. So are there Parmesan cheese that don't use cheese? Mom, is there fake Parmesan cheese? So Carla always says that we have to protect our sneakers before we use them. Trina and mom are notorious. They buy super nice, limited edition, expensive sneakers. And then they just wear them wherever. Oh, Which, true. if you think about it, you should do. You should always use your sneakers. Don't buy sneakers and then just display them. But my gosh, they will wade in flood waters and not care. So Trina got us. Crep for things. This one is beef chili with beans. And this one is organic vegetarian that chili. got damaged in my luggage. Yeah, we don't understand. Vegetarian. Seriously, all the cans of the vegetarian <laughs> ones that Trina brought back are all dented. And all the beef ones are totally fine. Mom and I had the turkey chili one that you got us last time. It was so good. Did you tell it was turkey? No. It didn't feel as heavy as like a beef chili, but I'm really excited to try that. And I'm super excited to try the Especially vegetarian one. It's 99% fat. Trina got me one of my favorite candies of all time. Icebreakers, sours, mixed berry, strawberry, and cherry flavor. I never share this. Everybody loves this. And if you show people that you have this, they will want. Yeah, this is why I don't have friends. So these are from Trader Joe's. Blue cheese stuffed chalk. Chalky dicky? What? How do you pronounce that? Chalky dicky. Does that sound great? No. You can actually see the blue cheese. Stuffed olives with blue cheese. But read the instructions. Huge Greek chalky dicky olives stuffed with blue cheese add up to a sublime taste. Treat to switch up the flavor, heat oil and olives over a very low flame with a sprig of rosemary or a large piece of orange zest just until warm. Mm. Like Trina got me a bunch of pickles! She brought back so many jars. Thank goodness because we are running dangerously low. I think we're down to our last pickle inside the jar. What? I eat like 10 pickles, okay? Like in one sitting. These are the Trader Joe's kosher dill pickles. These are really good. I hate sweet pickles. If you like sweet pickles, there's something wrong with you, okay? That's just not natural. Yeah, you don't eat pickles. You're so weird. But you did have the Impossible Meat Burgers. How were they? They were really good, but they're not pickles. No, but like... <laughs> What is the I'm making conversation. How were they? I love them. I love the Impossible Burger and also the Beyond Burger. They're non-meat, they're plant-based, and they're only available in the States. And Trina was posting so many pictures of the different burgers she was having. Where was the best one? The Umami From. Burger. Umami? What yeah, because they can do any of their signature burgers using the patty. Of it. So I had a truffle burger. Oh, I don't like truffle. But I had bacon french fries, so it kind of... <laughs> 
Trina ordered this for me the moment it launched. You did, right? That's true. Like she is so crazy. And now I am so terribly pressured to sharpen up my skills. Glossier Pro Tip Felt Liquid Eyeliner. This has so many amazing reviews online. People say that it's super easy to use and it's super jet black as well and it looks really nice. So I'm super excited. Baby Pink Pen. It's Glossier's colors. I got really excited though when I saw the freebie. I have a sample of the future new guys, which Trina has. It's the serum that is also basically like a highlighter and a cool new sticker. I'm trying not to be bitter about the fact that the Glossier pop-up in Shoreditch, London is officially <laughs> open weeks after our trip to London. Thank you, Glossier. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know if it's a sister connection, but mom knows this. I have been looking for a white hoodie. Not a zip-up, okay? Like an actual like sweater hoodie. Trina brought me back one! K-Swiss Forever 21 collab. It's so freaking cool. I remember K-Swiss. K-Swiss was so in when I was a kid. It's in again. I know it is. Just like Fila and all those other brands. Because Trina's my sister and she knows me so well, I have here a white sweater. That's Karan! <laughs> oh yeah! It's just got the really nice billowy sleeves. It's got the super cool K-Swiss patch on the side and then the embroidered patch as well. And because she supports the crazy dog lady in me. Pardon my Frenchie. Yes. <laughs> you can totally wear this out with like high waisted jeans. It would be so cute. And it comes with pants, guys. With little Frenchies all around. This one is kebab. Oh, I love it. Thanks, Trin. Trina got a couple of dog treats for kebab. Go on. So he it. also gets holiday treats. This one is from Target. It's called the Blue Buffalo Company. It's crunchy dog biscuits, Santa snacks. It's so oatmeal and cinnamon. It's so cute, guys. This is what I love about the States. They make Christmas themed stuff for the doggo. And this other one is soft and tender treats with chicken. Oh, it says with chicken. <laughs> Kebab's got a couple of treats because he is one spoiled Frenchie. And he deserves it because he's perfect. And I got him this toy from the fire hose fetch. It is the material of a fire hose. That's so cool! I'm gonna wrap this so you can give it to him for Christmas. I'm gonna get him something else for Christmas. So he can open it. To support the hype beast in me. Yes, hype beast. And mom. We gotta do a haul with your stuff, mom. <laughs> so people can see how cool you are. She's half asleep on my bed, by the way. I freaked out when I saw this. Champion sweater dress. Look at this. Why did you get this? Because they were saying that it's really popular. So I said, okay. <laughs> I'm a sucker for people who really make the effort to explain things. Yeah, that's true. When she sees that they like are so ganado and that they talk to her, she's just like, okay, hey, I'll get it. That mean? Made in Turkey. Hey! And because it is officially Christmas. Christmas in the Aguas household, Christmas kitchen towels! You are the best in finding like the cutest kitchen stuff considering you don't cook. It's true. <laughs> this one has got an embroidered Christmas tree. This one has a super cute snowman. More Christmas stuff. Because she knows I love me some gummies. I'm all about those empty calories. <laughs> Trader Joe's Scandinavian Tiding Soft and Chewy Gummy Candy. Oh yeah! So I went to the NASA space station, my only free day in Houston. So I got you the... Trina went to NASA, guys. That's the dream. Super cool vintage gray t-shirt. This would look really good with high-waisted jeans and then my Air Force Ones. And it's so soft. To think this is just from their souvenir shop. Yes. No, but it's made so well. You gotta hand it to NASA, guys. They're just... I mean, they can send men to the moon. That's true. Oh no! Is it one giant orange? <laughs> I hope not. She got me two bags of the Trader Joe's dark chocolate orange sticks. Orange chocolate is so freaking good. Oh, Christmas pajamas. Christmas dogs on the plain long sleeve red sock with the cute little lining of the Christmas dogs. Matching green joggers with the festive pooches. I love it. Look Katrina, I freaking love it. Is there a Frenchie? I'm not sure. Oh my god. Oh my god. You guys remember my London vlog and my London haul and how obsessed I was with a store that was selling overpriced things called Brandy Melville? Yeah, Brandy Melville vintage style retro sweater. I mean, look at that. It's knitted, it's navy blue, it's got the white block in the middle, and then in embroidery it says Los Angeles. See, now I have to go. We have to go so I can wear this and be that embarrassing tourist that's just like, 
One can never own too many sweaters, especially when you live in a super hot and humid country like the Philippines. This was like the ultimate surprise. Okay, so Trina went to a wedding, she texted me, she was like, by the way, check under the clothes of your pasalubo. And then I said, why is it a puppy? And then she said, no, but it could be a panty. <laughs> so I went to check. I didn't receive this when she was giving out all this stuff. How do you even say her name? I'm not sure, Karen. Carolina Lemke or Lemke, we're not sure. And Kim Kardashian West sunglasses collaboration. This is the one that you were sending me pictures yes. of. Did you get yourself a pair? No. Why not? Just Oh, too much. Hold this. <laughs> These are a collection of sunglasses that Kim Kardashian from helped Berlin, design allegedly. from Berlin. And Trina got me the most amazing, I own nothing like these, gold, tiny, oval ones. How did you know that I would like it's this? Really nice. It is so me. So, so nice. I mean, seriously, the great part about living in the Philippines is that even if it's the Burr months, like it's still really hot, yeah. you can still wear sunglasses. So I'm definitely going to wear these. The lenses are gold. Frame is gold. It's weighty. <laughs> Our mother's snoring. Several days later. Hey guys, it's Tuesday, November 26th. Had to insert this clip here because Trina surprised me yet again with more pasalubong. Now these things, unfortunately, couldn't make it to the haul video with Trina that I filmed last Saturday. But I thought I'd insert it here because these things are just so amazing. And I honestly can't believe that Trina even included this in her order for me. I feel so spoiled. I'm actually about to go to work, so I'm gonna do this really quickly and show you guys all of the amazing things that Trina surprised me with. You guys already know this wouldn't be a Trina haul without a bunch of candles. I still have so many candles in my room that I have yet to burn, but oh my goodness, she surprised me with four Christmas candles from White Barn and Bath and Body Works, and I am just over the moon right now, and I cannot wait to light these up. My room is gonna smell amazing. The White Barn Merry Mimosa. Look at that design. It is so freaking cute and festive. Oh my goodness, and it smells so refreshing. It literally smells like a fruity wonderland. This would be perfect to burn during the day just because it's super light and very fresh. The name speaks for itself. This is the White Barn, the perfect Christmas scented candle. It's in this gorgeous red jar, and I am buzzing to see what it smells like. Yes! It's spicy and cinnamony and festive. It literally smells like Christmas. I get it. This smells super warm and cozy. I will be lighting this at night with a good book in bed, covered in lotion with like a face mask. Bath and Body Works Twisted Peppermint. So this is a lot more playful. It's got some glittery candies on it. Oh my gosh, this is so minty. I freaking love peppermint. Peppermint scented things, peppermint oil, peppermint candy, peppermint chocolate. We get it, Carla. You like peppermint. It smells like a spa. It reminds me of Ahavia. If you guys have been to Ahavia, then you know. Oh my gosh, it feels so festive. Oh! And the last candle that we have is the Bath and Body Works Fresh Balsam. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I have absolutely no idea what balsam is. Woodland balsam, crisp eucalyptus, fir branches, cedar wood, and essential oils. It sounds like it's gonna be woody. Wow. This smells like what I feel an enchanted forest would smell like. I know, bear with me. This is a lot more mature. It's a lot deeper, but still very festive. I genuinely feel like this is what those forests in those Christmas movies, you know, like where Santa's like flying over a bunch of pine trees. I feel like that's what the forest would smell like. I love how every single candle that I have here, they're all Christmas themed, but they all smell so different. I'm going to have the warmest, coziest, greatest smelling room this December. Yay. And the last two bits that Trina got me, I have no words. Oh my gosh! She was able to snag me glossy wear, the Glossier merch that is always sold out. And she got me the two things that I was eyeing without even telling her. I swear, there's like some sister connection here. Glossier baseball cap. The fangirl in me is just so happy right now. I know what you're thinking. That is so freaking simple, Carla. What the heck? Exactly, my friends. I have been wanting a white cap for the longest time. Nico has so many white caps. He has so many caps in general. But every time he wears a white cap, I'm just like, oh, I want the white cap. And in white embroidery, it just says Glossier. It's a collaboration with New Era. You're going to be seeing me wearing this a lot. Yay! And the last thing, if you guys remember, Trina already got me a pink Tommy Hilfiger hoodie. And then she got me the pink Drew House hoodie. And I guess, you know, just to round up this trifecta of amazing hoodies, 
she got me the Glossier one. This is the pink hoodie of my dreams. I'm hoping it's the same material as the gray Glossier sweater that she got me the last time. It's what I was wearing in the other clips in this video. Feels like freaking Christmas. Oh, it is the same material as the gray sweater. Oh, that just makes me so happy. This is the Glossier Glossy Wear hoodie. It's in this gorgeous old rose shade. And then right in the middle, very simple in white, it's just printed Glossier. It's got a hood, front pockets as well. Oh, and the back part has the waving hand and the smiley face. The tag is the Glossier G. Trina, stop. Can we just, it is so soft and cozy. I already know I'm going to be living in this hoodie. I feel like it's already Christmas and I basically got every single thing that I've been wanting for so long. Ah, uh, I'm so happy right now. I know. <laughs> and there you guys have it, another Trina haul. Thank you, Trina. You're welcome. She loves me. Look at her nails. Look at how amazing these are. Kardashians who, right? She is ready for Christmas. Thank you, Trina, for all of the amazing things that you brought back. And thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And while you're at it, don't forget to Mom, subscribe below. And leave us a comment down below of any travel destinations. Give us countries, cities, places, because the traveling trio is currently evaluating and determining and researching which city we're gonna go to next. Yes, guys our 2020 travel plans. Leave them down below and we'll see you guys again soon for another video. Bye! Bye. <laughs>